In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to um, firstly drill um, a, a single pearl to insert the beautiful CZ pegs that we have in the kit. And secondly, I'm going to show you how to use the CZ pegs in a, a totally different way. So this is actually using them as a carrier on, um, on earring findings to carry your pearl. Um, so it's just two totally different ways of, of using them. And to do this, uh, the tools that you're going to need are, uh, well, first of all, we need to drill the, um, drill the pearls. So I've actually got the Dremel drill here. This is the jewellery maker Dremel drill, and it's using the flexi shaft, which makes it really easy for you um, to sort of do the, the finer detail and to drill your pearls. Um, I've also got... Um, pearl drills and for this project we're going to need the uh, 0.9 and the 1 mil pearl drill okay um, we also need uh, round nose pliers flat nose pliers and uh, wire cutters right so let's get going right so first of all we need to drill our pearls now I use um, a, a rubber block to, to drill my pearls on because I find it easier to do. So what we're, we're going to be looking at doing, we actually need to make a hole, which I've got one here that, I, that I've already done, that's going to be large enough to fit in the, um, the CZ post. Okay, so a one mil is perfect, perfect size for it. Okay, so I just selected a pearl from the strand, from the kit. And um, I've got, as I said before, I've got the 0.9 um, pearl drill. Um, so I'm just going to show you how um, to make that um, that initial hole. Um, I'll stop talking while I do it and um, I'll talk you through things afterwards. Um, the speed that I use my Dremel on is usually between about 15 and 20. And I find that speed is great for, for this job. OK, so I'm just going to um, stop speaking and turn on now. Now you see that's that's how easy it is to actually drill the pearls so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, just clean clean this off so hopefully there you can see that the um, in start of the initial drill hole okay so what you'll do you'll need to um, drill down uh, with the 0.9 and then obviously extend that drill hole with the one mil so um, if you do that, and then we're ready then to set in the um, CZ pegs, okay? So what we need to do now, here's um, a pearl that I've drilled already. So that drill hole there is a one mil, okay? So we're ready to do that. So I've got my uh, peg here. Now the pegs are beautiful. And if I just bring that and show you, the pegs are gorgeous. I'm hoping you can see that. And they've got a post at the back, which we're going to use to adhere it into the pearl, and a little loop, okay? Now, in this instance, we don't need this little loop. So we're actually going to cut that off. So to do that, we're going to take some um, wire cutters. I'm using flush cutters, and I'm using the flush section at the loop. So you can see there, it's right up against the loop, okay? And then I'm going to cut that off. And there you can see there you've got the dinkiest little jump ring. And if you um, hold that in your pliers, uh, and then you can run that onto a nail file and take off that sharp edge, and then you can use that again. I actually used it in one of the bracelets. Okay, so I'm going to pop that down. So now we've got our post 
um, without its little loop. Okay. So now what we need to do is check that the post fits in to the pearl and it does perfectly. So we've drilled our pearl and we've got our inset there. Okay. So I'll pop those down. Right. So now I use um, Hypo Cement to secure my um, pegs and Swarovskis into pearls. Um, a couple of reasons. One is it's um, really easy to use and the other it does uh, a fantastic job. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to and obviously you've got the um, precision um, tip as well. So I'm just going to actually pop in some glue into that hole there that we just created. Okay. And as we've got a round, in this instance it's a round um, peg, I'm actually just going to put a little bit onto the outside of that. Not too much because you don't want that to sort of ooze out when you, um, when you pop in the peg. Okay. So I'm going to pick the peg up with the pliers if I can and pop that in just there. I'm going to press that down and you can see now that that uh, peg is in the, um, in the pearl and we've still got our drill holes um, either side our original drill hole so you can use that then in the center of a necklace a bracelet pop a head pin on and turn it into a pendant okay so that's one way of using the pegs i'm going to show you a, a, an alternative to this now this alternative is great if you don't want to drill your pearls um and you just but you still want to use them you still think they're beautiful and you want to use them okay so I'm going to take one of the um, CZ pegs, and in this instance, it's the um, the chevron. Okay. Now the chevron is the shape that I used for these these earrings, and as you can see, there's a loop on the top, and you can see there that I actually manipulated the back to create a loop there for the pearl to hang from. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do this. First of all, we're going to take the um, peg. Let's move these out of the way. I'm going to take the peg and we're going to pop in our round nose pliers as close to the back of the peg as we can get. So it's really quite tight there and as close to the tip of the pliers as we can get without it sort of pinging off. We, we, we don't want to, you know, don't want to flow over the room, but we don't want a big loop there because we need this loop to sit nicely at the top. OK, so now we've got um, got that in place. I'm going to just bring that around, okay? So you can see there we've got that bend in the peg, okay? So now I'm going to pop in my flat nose pliers. Now the flat nose pliers are actually going to cover the whole of that loop just there, okay? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the angle of that loop because I want the loop... Um, to be facing straight straight up and because you haven't got a lot of purchase on here there's not a lot here a lot here to hold on to I'm going to make sure that's on top of there and I used a um, the, the rubber block again okay so I'm going to pop that down onto the onto the block if you can just see literally there if you've only got a steel block um, you could use that but make sure that you cover it with some sort of felt or uh, material OK, so you can see that's sitting up away from the block. If I pop it down and then just apply a little bit of pressure here, not too much, and we carry on until that is sitting flat on, on the block. And you'll see at that point that the direction of that loop has now changed. So it's now in a, a much more... Um, it's much more in the correct position that we need to hang it okay so what I do now is um, we're going to try and close this up slightly okay sorry let me put that into shot there so we're just going to give that a bit of a squeeze with some ply with the pliers okay now if I can hold that so now you can see we've got our, our CZ with the loop I'll straighten that up in a second 
and we've got our little loop at the back just there okay I'm just going to rock that over a little bit just so it's in the right position there we go so now we've got our CZ um, peg as we want it okay so I'm going to take a pearl right so now we've got a pearl and I'm going to su suspend that from the bottom of the um, the peg that we've just we've just sorted okay now this is one that I've already drilled so you could you could drill it you could drill it with a nice Swarovski to match the the colors uh, and I'm literally going to do a quick wrapped loop and I'm going to stop at that point okay um, I'm just going to open that slightly and we're going to pop that through the loop that we've just made at the back of the peg okay and then pop that through there so it's sitting nicely just there okay and then what we need to do is just take some flat nose pliers again and hold that loop that we've just made there in position okay so that's the loop we've just made above the above the pearl and then we're just going to wrap around let me hold that a little bit better so you can see we're going to wrap around a couple of times okay and I'm going to take this off and I'm going to snip off the excess actually I'm going to leave that I think I will put in a Swarovski into that right so now we've got if I put it in the right position we've now got our pearl and our little carrier just there so what we need to do now is open up a shepherd's hook literally open that up pop the um, loop from the peg the CZ peg onto there and close that up and there you have um, the beautiful um, CZ pegs with a pearl earring and it's just a different way of using them um, but I think it's really nice and it's um, it's great if you're not into drilling pearls but you still want to use these beautiful pegs. I hope you enjoyed those demonstrations and I hope to see you soon.